people that haven't slept since Pet Simulator 99 came out two days ago. And those people? Yeah, that's me. Today, we're on a mission to beat Pet Simulator 99. What does that even entail? Well, for starters, we need to go as far as we can go in the game, rebirth, and then do it again. Then we will also be making one of the top clans in Pet Simulator 99 and preparing for next week's update. Can we do it all in this video? Well, stay tuned to the end to find out. So yeah, we're picking up right where we left off in the last two videos I've put out on the channel. I live stream getting the first rebirth, and then in the last video, I spent 100,000 Robux getting six new huge pets and making it to where we are now. For all those that can't swim, you're gonna hate this, because we about to go swimming. Now, luckily, we should be able to make pretty quick work out of everything here. And when I mean pretty quick work, I mean pretty quick work, because just like that, we are in and out of the water world, which actually has been crazy. We're gonna save up to unlock area 25, because when we do, we're gonna talk about today's video agenda, and that is going to be to get two rebirths, because getting one rebirth is crazy, but getting two is when the real fun begins. It unlocks things like being able to hatch huges from your best egg at spawn. The other thing you get is the auto hatching of the eggs at rebirth two, and the third thing, the one that I'm really looking forward to, getting to rebirth two allows you to make and join clans and that my friend is exactly what we're gonna do so we're gonna work our way up all the way to level 50 where i believe the rebirth 2 actually exists because if we look going over to rebirth 1 yeah this is where rebirth 1 is you can't actually rebirth there again we're gonna have to go to the next one to start rebirth 2 and to do that well, we're gonna need our pets over here i think we did get enough to go ahead and buy the next area and that's that's what we're gonna do. I have never ever set foot in this area. So this is completely new. We got random fruits here. We got a fire going. We got all these breakables over here. As cool as this, maybe I should also try to get all the relics. We did get up to 11. Now, because we're needing to use it coins and stuff to really start breaking ahead and breaking new areas, I'm actually gonna take the luck enchants off and only go after things that give me coins. So the treasure, we've got tapping has a chance to send bolts of lightning. That's gonna be great. Magnet, we definitely definitely want to use that. The other thing that we're going to need to do is probably use some of our potions. This one is a potions five. We're going to need to use it. Damage five. Also something we're going to need to use. We've got enough to move on to the next area. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and also upgrade our coins. We're going to buy the next area and we're going to keep on going. Reset all of our pets to here. We need eight. We technically almost have it, but we're going to look over here. We can actually go fishing for more rare items, including getting a chance for a huge Poseidon Corgi. We're going to unlock this area. We're going to go to the next, which should open up all this where we can now fuse pets together. But before I do that, I'm actually going to try out the fishing. What is the first thing that I want to get? Wait, hold on. How do I got to do this? Okay. 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 Oh, dang. It's hard. It's kind of hard. No lie, bro. We got it for 20. Okay. We got a nibbler. Why was the last one so hard and this one's so easy? I got two apples. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go back. Definitely could be worth to try to get the huge Poseidon Corgi at some point or another. But for now, we got some things to do. We're going to auto farm this. I'm going to redeem these rewards. Redeem these rewards. We got 350 breakables to do still. I'm going to use one of the legendary fruits as well as one of the apples. As well as a pineapple. We'll put down a jar. We'll put down some coins. Fill the jar. Fill the coins. From the looks of things, it looks like things are getting harder and harder for them to eat in beat and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is we need to actually get our pets a lot stronger. First off, I'm going to teleport all the way back to spawn. We're going to go back here to the back and we're going to find... <laughs> <laughs> Look how none of the eggs have been unlocked. But I'm about to unlock this one. So we unlock all of them at once. Wow, that was super satisfying. All right, let's buy 26. See how lucky we can get. We got a rainbow gorilla, which is not the best pet in the game. Rhino. Okay, the rhino was definitely the best pet. Let's teleport back to the other area. We need to go to the fuse machine. So we're actually going to go over to uh, Shantytown. I'm going to pick up all of the things that I need to get. We're going to put down yet another jar the giant jar let it fill that up 
just like that. It is done. Ooh. And the rewards we got for that are insane. Now, the most powerful pet is this rainbow gorilla. What kind of pet will you get if you do all of these pets at once? A hundred pets. The best pet we have right now is an epic rainbow gorilla worth 3.74 thousand. This is a hundred pets refusing. See what we got? And it is worse. That was worse. What if we just did that for 2.37 thousand? 2.36. It's also worse. Oh, that makes me so mad. Okay, fusing is not where it's at. It looks like the flag is done though, so we can move on to the next area and we can actually move on to quite a bit of areas. I'm just gonna go crazy. We got area 30 done. More pet speed. Area 32 is done. And here we are at area 32 where we can again get more diamonds. And here it, we've opened up the rainbow pets as well as opened up a pyramid obby, which I am apparently gonna go join even though I wasn't planning on doing it. All right, let's do this real quick. This is legit actually a decent obby. Okay, okay. Ah, we've done it. Was it worth it? Uh, not really, but it was fun, I guess. We also got the dig site where you can go and get yourself a huge fossil dragon. Dig for treasure. All right, let's go. Let's dig. Let's do this and we'll do this. I found treasure. I'm just gonna do that thing in Minecraft that you're not supposed to do and dig straight down. How far down do you have to go to get the dragon? Okay, I'm bored. For anybody that has like ADHD and gets distracted real easy, this game is not for you. <laughs> we need 500 platinum coins. This is going to take forever. I think I'm gonna again teleport back to spawn, put on the lucky eggs enchant, hoping I can get a gold egg. I've got 184, I can buy 26. We got a scorpion, which is not bad, but at the same time, I need, there we go, a desert rainbow cat. A golden scorpion, that's probably the best pet we're gonna have. Let's teleport to the gold machine. I don't remember where the gold machine even is. Okay, it's in area 10. It just literally says upgrade. Let's make one. 10 gold pets make one. Oh, that's not good. There. If we teleport to the desert pyramids. We should be able to get the rainbow pets. We need 10 to get one. The most valuable pet I have at the moment. The rainbow desert cat at 5.0 3,000, which means my Titanics actually aren't that great. By the next area, level 33, need a thousand. Drop a coins flag and let's go to town. And for the next five minutes, all I did was stay in one spot and let all of my pets do all of the work for me. They gathered up all the coin boosts, got them all to me in time. And I went from having no coins whatsoever to having over, yeah, 11,000 of those coins. Apparently I only need a thousand. I'm way past that. If I go to reward, I can also claim these right here. Dude, there's so much to always like pick up and put down. I feel overwhelmed. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go to the next area. Now we're in this area. I'm just gonna flat out skip it. She needs 6,000 to go to the next. We're actually gonna bypass that as well. Now we're in level 36, about to go to level 37. This is probably where we'll set up shop again. We can get more pet damage. I'll have everybody come here and start working. And I'm also gonna put down another coin flag. So they're going to go crazy. In the meantime, I'm going to go again back to spawn to see if we can get a little bit better pets. We've now unlocked this area right here, which means we can finally get some of these pets. Do I really want to go through and get, I mean, this thing costs 40 platinum coins. Okay, before we do that, let's again go to the enchants. Let's see what we got. We have a lucky egg here, a lucky egg here, a lucky egg here, a lucky egg here. I gotta admit, I don't really have as much as I want as far as the lucky goes. Where is the enchantment thing? I think that that's gonna be the hardest part about all of this is to go through each area and find what each area does as far as like upgrades and stuff. Free diamonds, rainbow pets, mini game, nothing, fusing. There it is. That is what I was looking for this whole time. This upgrade enchant combined into better enchants. It's level 16. I can buy a level three. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but we're gonna do it anyway. All right, I now have two Two lucky egg threes and a lucky one. I wonder if maybe I can go to the trading plaza and get these.
these two taken care of. Is anybody selling in the trading plaza any lucky enchants? Not in this one. There is a treasure hunter four, which I will take, but again, seems to be nothing. We're gonna try this one more time. And in this area, there's a speed three, treasure hunter three. And again, that looks to be about it. Sometimes in the exclusive shop, they do have some good things. Not these, definitely not these. <laughs> but we also got some game passes. We got these, we don't work. They here. Here's what I was looking for. Sporadically shoots up breakables. Okay, that one's cool. I don't know if I'll necessarily need it, but we'll take it. This one's also cool. And so is this one. The chest mimic enchant allows you to destroy a breakable and reveal a mini chest. There's also the spinny wheel ticket, which means that we can take it over to the spinny wheel and start spinning some stuff. <laughs> There's nothing I really want to begin with, but uh, I'll take that critical four. That's nice. We'll just go ahead and spin five. It's different every time you spin it. Oh, that was a huge propeller kill. That was the jackpot. Oh, I missed it. There's another one, but this one's not a gold version. Last one. Oh, this is addicting. I don't like this. It did not help. All right, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, go to our enchants, go to the best egg in the game and hatch away. We got a rainbow moose, a rainbow snow ram, which uh, is gonna definitely be a lot better if we can get a rainbow deer. Like we just did, we got exactly what we needed out of this. That rainbow deer, my friends, is worth 8.65 thousand. Which means we can do this. We can move on to the next area and buy this. And now we are here at the advanced merchant, which allows us to get bananas and that's it. Bro, that sucks. <laughs> They're still back there doing that one because of the haste flag. What I can do over here is drop a coin flag and then drop a jar and then drop a TNT, which then means by myself, I can fill out the coin jar, which then gives me a lot more bags, which allows me to buy the next area. We are really, cooking now. Putting down flags and doing coin jars is an OP strat. All right, moving on. We're all the way to area 42. I'm gonna drop a jar. I'm gonna drop a coin. And again, we're gonna drop some TNT. Oh my God, dude, it took so long to finally do the coin jar in this area. As you can see, when I leave out of here, it looks like they are legit struggling. That's not a sign you want to see where they're not all moving around all over the place. I now no longer have pets powerful enough to get that. So when we go to this next area, I can buy a random enchant from here. If I buy, I can't afford it, but it says I can take a ride on a lift and bro, I'll, I'll, it just left me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We're going on a ride. I don't know where this is taking me. Sled race. Race to the finish. Let's go. This is cool. Woo! Okay. Ow! I should probably start ramping. Ramping was a bad idea. Go, 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 go. Okay. That's that's just not fair. Woo! There we go. We finished first. One of well, one. This is taking way too long. I've got to get another pet because <laughs> it's not powerful enough. It's like we can open up quite a bit. Fire pets. A thawed egg. That's exactly what I need. We got some ice mortis. We got to keep going. All right, listen, I've been talking with Nin. He has a cyborg panda worth 37,000. I also kind of borrowed his Titanic fire dragon. I gave him back his pet and he gave me one of his other pets. Oh, we are making short work of this now. Oh my gosh. There we go. We broke it. We can now buy the next area. And oh my gosh, is that a platinum bar? Three bars, three bars. Come on. And we've did it. Three bars. Okay, let's go check out the next area. That area is unlocked. Things are here. No. Oh, they heated up a lot. I don't have near that much. All right, time to set up shop again. Buy enough for that area. Buy enough for that area. And I think I will hang out here while my pets hang out back there. All right, I'm not gonna lie. It's been another hour. I went and watched a movie, came back, and now we're sitting at 1.62 thousand platinum bars, which is 1 million platinum coins, which is 1 million gold. You get the
get the points. <laughs> Point is, we got a lot of money. We got a new area to go to. It's this one right here. You only need 20. That one's done. Okay, a little bit further. I can buy some rare potions here. Or we can just skip it and move on for 100 bars. And we can keep going to area 49 for 200 bars. And just like that, we are at area 50. How far can we go? Is that the end? Have we done it? We have. This is the end. Welcome to Japan. The end of the level. The end of the line. What's back here in the back? I don't know. We'll find out. December 9th. Yeah, that's right. Updates are coming. And, uh, we got a long way to go. So it looks like that was just to rebirth to right here. Clans, strength, rewards, active, huge pets, auto hatch, coins and areas will reset. Keep everything else. Now, as you know, we got a lot of coins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop everything to right here in this area and let them go to town. And they're going to just be, well, they're going to have some issues. We definitely don't have the pets we need to be in this area. So we need to go back before we teleport and lose all of our coins and spend all of our coins on this egg right here, hoping to get this big boy right there. Can we do it? I don't know. We about to find out. And just like that, we're out. We did not even get the best one. We got almost the best one, but not that one at all. The only thing I know to do now is to go to the gold machine to make the gold pet better. And then go to the rainbow machine to make this one even better still. Now my new best pet is a 42,000 pet. And now that we've done everything we need to do, the only thing left is to go to the dojo and rebirth again. We have done it! Which means I've now unlocked clans, unlocked auto hatch. I've got 75% more pet strength. And we can now finally utilize this thing up here to try our best to hatch the new huge, which gives us a 2,500% chance of hatching a huge pet. Does that actually mean we'll get anything good? No, of course not. <laughs> I feel like I was bamboozled. <laughs> well, the one thing we can do is a clan voucher. We're going to create our own clan. And there we go. We have a clan just like that. I'm going to invite Nick. I'm going to donate 150,000 gems to it. it. Says clan level one. What happens if I make it a new clan level? Let's find out, shall we? It's only going to cost me, oh, you know, 9,000 Robux. Get lucky, get lucky, get... That's fine. I'm going to donate a cool million Robux to the cause. Maybe we can upgrade it to a level two. We get a permanent boost unlock for all clan members. What does that do? I got my boy Nick. I'm going to invite Angel. Oh, man. We about to take over the world. And just like that, our clan is now worth 2.7 million. What does the clan do? I'm glad you asked, random person. Because clan boosts give you plus three walk speed and plus three pet walk speed. But like, bro, we on our way. Oh, and also, we got people still donating to the clan. Oh, you know, casually just us three people right here with the top five clan already. There's plenty more where that came from. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go spend the rest of my life grinding this game so I can unlock more eggs. It's going to be a little bit. Well, I got to admit, my life was pretty short because I got hacked here pretty quickly. We've made it all the way back to level 50 already. And man, we have done it. We have completed the exact mission we set ourselves out to do. We have completed. Pet Simulator 99. There's nothing left. We've rebirthed twice. We can't go any further. We are waiting for the next unlock on December 9th. All that's left to do is to grind this one spot over and over again. And I have got, so far, 138,000 platinum bars. Bro, I could hatch for days. Question is, though, what's after this? Because there's technically supposed to be 49 more levels after this one. If we go behind here, can we get a sneak peek and no nothing <laughs> well i guess we're gonna have to wait and see hit that subscribe button we're gonna be seeing real quick i'll see you gamers later Everybody's watching.